so this is our model from the previous video so let's suppose let me try to add a storefront curtain wall into this particular wall element so let's go to the top view so let me go to level number one and then what we'll do is let's select wall architectural and then select a storefront and starting from around 500 from one edge and up to here and next let's give some height offset so let's suppose the height offset should be for this one will be around base will be 500 and from the top it will be minus 500 okay from the base we'll give it zero itself all right now next what i want is let's suppose in this particular region in this particular panel okay i would like to remove this aluminium frame and i want to consider this entire panel to work as a door so for that what we do is first of all we select this particular frame or mullion and then unpin this mullion and then delete it once done now i would like to consider the entire these two segment these two panels as one panel so for that i need to uh, remove or delete this segment so to delete this segment select the grid segment and then go for add remove segment click and then click also again once again so just select it by pressing tab and then add remove click it here and then click outside so now you can see this panel is acting as one full panel so now what we can do we can press the tab key and then i would like to convert this as a door so now let's unpin this and then go for edit type and then let's go to load so now here from the system panel i will load a new panel and now from the door family or from the door library we can go and select for example m curtain wall double storefront and then click open and then click ok and now you can see this panel has been converted into a door type we can add one more for example let's select it go to edit type load and then let's suppose m door curtain wall door gla double glass click open and then click ok so this is how you can convert a glass panel into a door Thank you very much.